Hello and welcome to another StarCraft 2 replay by Kadoink Studios. I am Kadoink. I am Vason. And here today we have the f second of a series we think we are going to call Morecraft. Uh, this series has been produced by the uh, Moore Hall, of which we live in. Uh, it's a dorm here at Kansas State University. So if you're at Kansas State University and see this, come check us out. Yep, absolutely. So let's introduce our players today. In the bottom right-hand corner, we have the Red Terran hero, Jack Attack, uh, or just Jack as he is known in StarCraft II. And in the left, we have... We have uh, Trima, the Blue Zerg. Yes. Uh, both players duking it out today on Antigua Shipyard, a very nice map. Uh, a map where you can get a pretty nice second as well as a pretty nice third. Um, this third is a, is really close to the each player's naturals, um, so it'll be fairly easy to defend. Um, spawning here on what I assume is close air. It seems to be close air. Um, and yeah, we see some pretty normal stuff going out of both players. Trima is getting his extractor really early. We'll probably see some mutilus play coming from him, perhaps even some banelings. And Jack is just getting his barracks up, doing his normal little wall he likes to do, and scouting out the base is going to see uh, Trima before Trima sees him. Uh, looks like we have an over um, an overlord going top. I'm not sure if he knows, but I don't believe that they can actually spawn there. I yeah, I'm not actually sure about that either. This is one of the maps I've I've played less on the ladder pool, um, and so I'm not exactly 100% sure on the spawn locations. We do see a spawning pool coming out for Trima at this time. Uh, Jack sees that as well as this gas, and I hope he picks up on the fact that he is going for an early gas, although there are no workers being placed in the gas right now. Uh, that leads me to believe that there may be some early Zergling play, and if he doesn't get that walled off fairly soon, he may have a problem. Absolutely, those Zerglings can just rush on in, especially if he researches the ever-so-important Zergling speed metabolic boost, as it is called. We see the wall off being completed for Jack today, as well as getting a Marine out to hopefully do some damage later on in the game. We see an orbital coming up, and uh, looks like looks like he's floating on quite a bit of minerals. Maybe maybe another supply depot is needed because he's getting pretty close to the 19 mark. Absolutely, this is going to finish up very soon, and he's going to, of course, be getting this uh, mule as well as these. Um, SCVs to keep coming, and hopefully we'll build another barracks, or, ah uh, yes, we see here another barracks. And here's Trima's Overlord floating around, scouting around, seeing what's going on. He's got two Marines in his base. Absolutely. Does he see the Overlord? Does he notice? He should. It does not look like he notices right now. He could doesn't run him. Doesn't look like any player has noticed the danger that is inside. Yeah. Oh, he has one selected. Nope. Oh, no longer. Moving away. Oh, oh he's there he goes. Towards the over Overlord. He is attacking the Overlord. I do not think the Overlord will get away. Absolutely not. This was very wise of him to just run him here instead of just attacking. It would have given the Overlord enough time to run away. He is also building his factory. However, this Overlord will see it. It will have done its civic duty for the Zerg race, seeing this factory being built. Now, the Zerg is over at supply. Now, that means he needs to build another, if not two more, Overlords. He is also has plenty of minerals, so maybe he, we should see another hatchery soon. But instead we're seeing a Roach Warren. He is back to cap. There are the two overlords. Indeed, and you're correct. Some, looks like we have some Ling play on the field. Yeah, and you're very right about this hatchery going down with the floating minerals. He um, saw what was going on, and I think he feels safe enough seeing that he only saw two Marines. However, there are now four, and I think with these Zerglings in play, he feels fine getting this hatchery, especially since he was supply blocked. It's not like he could spend that, unit, that money on, uh, on other units. Queen up doing some uh, spawn as well as lair coming up. So this, uh, this marine's going to see it, getting some roaches up on the map. And with this lair done, I'm sure we are going to see mutilus today. Absolutely. Not much defense by the red Terran player. If the blue player would scout, he would most likely be able to tell that he does have a new expansion at his natural. Absolutely, he's building this natural. He's going to try to get it saturated up. Has these marines. You know what though? Blue Zerg Trima is coming in with some roaches and Zerglings, and the roaches are going to do incredible amounts of damage, especially look at this light army by Jack, a Hellion as well as some Marines. Very bad against the roach 
play. However, hopefully, the Hellion will do some early damage to the Zerglings. And here comes the Zerglings coming in and attacking the, the Marines. A little bit behind, should have waited for these Roaches. The Roaches come in and very wisely knows that this is a bad decision to engage this. So he's pulling back right now and then going forward to attack. Has a little Marine out of order here. He needs to put that up. Oh, very nice by Jack putting that up and running him away. Getting these Roaches to kind of get off course and lifting this perfect lift by him. This will give him enough time to get this tank up as well as Siege Mode which should be able to hold off this roach play. Now what uh, Now what Jack could do is he could take uh, one or two SCVs and put it on that Hellion, and it might be able to live. Absolutely. If he has this SCV right now is not doing anything, it'd be great if he put him on there trying to get that done. Oh, his tank finishes just in time. He can pick off these roaches and land his command center and start mining again. Now both players are extremely high on minerals, and... I'm not quite sure exactly what the blue Zerg is going to be doing with those. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Hopefully he'll be saturating the space, which he needs to do, and getting more gas, especially if he wants that mutilus play. He doesn't have a spire up yet, doesn't even have any kind of tech as far as the layer is concerned, um, and I'm not sure why he chose uh, to get the layer, seeing as he doesn't have anything. He is, oh, and some more roaches in his base trying to repair that tank, but it doesn't do enough. And so many roaches on the field right now going to pick off all these SCVs as well as that Marine. And, oh, Jack's sitting in all his SCVs right now, getting another tank being built and popping out some Marines. He should be getting a Marauder. The Marauders would do absolutely wonderful damages. There's Jack. GG. GG's. Fantastic game by Trima. Congratulations to him. Taking the first game in a best of three. I'm facing. And I'm Kadoink. Thank you. Good night.